Hello everybody. In this small tutorial series, we'll be making a simple yet powerful health system for our player in Unity. We'll begin by setting up a health bar so you can see how much health your player has left. Next, we'll look at how to make your player take damage and how to heal him. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to create a functioning health system and you'll be ready to move on to more advanced features like adding status effects or an armor system, which we'll cover in the next two videos of this series. So, let's get started with the system. Here, I have a simple scene set up. It has a player with a movement script and enemies which shoot at the player when he comes to close. If you want to use the scripts I use in this video, I will put them in the video description. Create a script named player stats, which will hold the information about the health and attach it to the player. Then create a serialized float named max health, which will be the health the player has when he starts the game. After that, create a private float named current health. In the start function, set the current health to the max health. Before we continue with the logic for taking damage and healing the player, let's add a health bar to visualize the system. You can of course use your own health bars, but if you do not have one yet, I'm just going to create a simple health bar UI. Go into your scene, create a canvas and add an empty game object which will hold the health bar. Scale it the way you want your health bar to be. Then create an image for the border or the background of the health bar and just make it completely black. In the Rect Transform component, click on Anchor Presets and hold Alt and Shift while you click on the bottom right. Duplicate this image, reduce the size a little bit and give it a red color. Now we have a health bar which looks okay for the moment. In order to change the fill amount of the health bar, we need to add a slider. So add a slider component to your health bar object, make it non-interactable and set the transition and navigation to none. Drag your duplicated image, which represents the fill amount of the health bar, to the fill rect. With changing the value slider right here, we can change the amount of health displayed. As you can see, you can only select a value between 0 and 1. But since in your game the player will probably have more than one health point, we want to change that. Create a script named health bar and attach it to the health bar object. In the script, create a slider. To do that, you have to write using unityengine.ui at the top. Now we need to create two methods. Write a method named setSlider, which will update the value of the slider. The method takes an amount, which the value of the slider will be set to. So if the amount is for example 20, the value of the slider will also be 20. The other method is named setSliderMax and also takes an amount. This method sets the max value of the slider to the amount and will then update the slider. If the amount is for example 100, the health bar will have a maximum value of 100. Make sure that both of the methods are public because we will call them from the player stat script. Also make sure you reference the slider in the inspector. In the player stat script, create a public health bar and reference it in the inspector. In the start function, we want to set the max value of the health bar slider to the amount of health the player has when he starts the game. So call the setSliderMax function and reference the max health variable. Now when we give the player a max health of for example 100, the max value of the slider will be 100 when we start the game and the health bar will be filled completely. Next, we need a way to change the health of the player when he takes damage or when he heals himself. First, let's add the logic for taking damage. Create a public function named takeDamage which takes an amount as an argument. Then just decrease the current health variable by the amount. To update the health bar, just call the setSlider method and pass in the current health. Now find the place in your project where the player takes damage. If you do not have yet for example an enemy which shoots the player like me, then you can just check for key input in the update function and for example reduce the player health by let's say 20 if you press a key, just to make sure everything is working. But for me, I created an enemy which shoots bullets at the player if he comes too close. I want that my player takes damage when the bullet hits the player. So I go into my bullet script which is attached to the bullets and write an onTrigger enter method. This method will be called when the object collides with another object. For this to work, the bullet has to be a trigger. First, I check if the game object which was hit has the tag player. So make sure your player has the tag player. Then I want to get the player stats component and call the take damage method and pass in the damage the bullet deals as an amount. Then I destroy the bullet. Now when the bullet hits the player, it will decrease the health and it will be displayed. Now we do the same with healing the player. 
create a public function named heal, which takes in an amount as an argument. The content of this method will be exactly the same as in the take damage function, but we do not want to reduce the health of the player, we want to increase it. So just change the minus to a plus. You can just heal the player by pressing for example a key or you make it a little bit more interesting. In my scene I created some cubes which represent something like bandages or medkits. Then I added a script named healing item to them and checked again if it collides with the player and of course made them a trigger. When they collide with the player, the player stats component will be grabbed and the heal method will be called. I also created a heal mount which I pass into the heal function. Then I destroy the object. Ok, so now we have the logic for taking damage and healing the player. But there are two things left to do. First we need to fix some bugs. When we heal the player, it might happen that his health gets higher than his max health. To fix this, go into the update function of the player stat script and check if the current health is higher than the max health. If it is, just set the current health to the max health. And the last thing we are going to add is the logic for the player dying when the health reaches zero. In your update function, check if the current health is equal or below zero. If it is, call a method called die. Create the method and write whatever you want to happen if the player dies. I am just going to debug something out. But you can for example create a game over screen or add a cool death animation for your player. Now we have a simple health system. We have set up the visual aspect of the health bar and implemented the logic for taking damage and healing the player. In the next video, we will build upon this foundation by adding status effects like poison or fire, which make the game more engaging and give new challenges to the player. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next video.